Welcome to our admin lesson. Today we are going to do status control. I'm Tiam Seng, your trainer. Let's start by looking at how status control is used. Status control is found in the Manage tab. We start by selecting a status layout. In this layout, I have created a status control for management of SPCO, which I'm going to select as the status layout. Next, it prompts me for what is the scope of the elements that I want to use with this status layout. Let's look for a spec that we want to manage. Let's take the F1C spec. The table will now display all the SPCO elements. First, let's save this layout. Let's call this layout Piping SPCO Status F1C. At the moment, all the SPCO or spec components are not being controlled, as you can see the not control message. You can start by editing the status and put it under as the first step of your control, which is the geometry check. We are now putting all the spec component into status control. Now you can see that the status of the spec component is updated. The first step of this status is actually 60% completion. Let's take a look at the status layout. You can see there are four properties that we can display with the spec component. Perhaps what we want to do is to manage in terms of the type of component. Let's go to column setup and try to add the type of component. So we use the spec word SPWD to actually obtain the information from the selector. Let's move this column to somewhere nearer to the name. Now we can choose the type of component that we want to update. Let's select flange, gasket and tube. Now you can see that the table has been updated to the three types that we have selected. Let's select the whole table and modify the status. We can use promote or demote. To promote, it will go to the next level. So let's promote and give it a command. Once we select OK, the status of these components that we have selected will be updated to the next level which is 80% and we will need to check the connections of the component. Let's promote this one more time. After this promotion, the status will be now 90% and it is to check the component description. Let's remove the filter and see other components. Let's select cap, close and other components from the list. You can see that these components are still in the geometry check status or the 60% status. And let's promote these components as well. We did not pause the video so that you can see how fast the system upgrade the status. Let's recall all the components. You can see that the components have different status for this specification. 
perhaps I've made a mistake and I'd like to bring my cap back to the previous status. First, I filter the caps and I select the rows and I use the demote to actually go down one status. You can put comments on why this items or these components have been demoted. Let's look at status report, in particular the graphical report. The report only shows what is in the table. I've forgotten to activate all the components. Let's do it now. And now you can see how much of the progress we made with this particular specification. Let's do another filter, this time based on the number percent completion. And let's promote this 90% completed components. Let's look at the report again. And this time, let's look at other chart type that is possible with status control. Now we move on to setting up the status control in Lexicon. First, let's start by creating a status definition under the catalog status. We use the Lexicon Element Editor to edit the element. Let's give our status definition a name. And we also need to put a description. Next, we are going to create the stages in this status definition and we can do it by using the edit members. We select number of members which is really the number of stages that we have for this status and we create them. And you can see that in the hierarchy, there are the four members that we have created. Let's input the properties of each stage. First, let's input the name of the element and the description of the stage. Next, we are going to associate a numerical value to this stage which is 60 which can mean 60%. Let's go on to do the same for the rest of the stages.
that is our last stage and the numerical value should be 100%. Now we go back to the status definition to associate the valid element to this status definition. You need to use the add to list to get this association. Next, we will input the valid transition. This is the first stage, so there's only you can promote. So there's only one valid transition, and the valid transition can be promoted. Let's go to the second stage, and this time we have two valid transition to demote or to promote. And you can select the promote and demote stage and we come to our last stage which has only the possibility to be demoted but not promoted perhaps we think that the next stage will be to the next revision and we will use the mode to do milk back to the first stage again. We show you how to create a simple status control. Hope you can use it instead of UDAs to create status for the elements. Bye, see you soon.